Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's Jamie with Jamie's Realistic Life. What you see is what you get because this is my realistic life. So today I wanted to try to go back and do the video that I'd done before and had to delete because there was a video playing in the background. I just throwed the video up without looking at it. So that was my fault. I went and deleted it off. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So I was talking about... Um, I don't even want to get started with this. I am so aggravated. I went to bed last night. I had 860 subscribers. So I thought, well, I'll go in and I'll add these in. I woke up this morning and looked to make sure, and I'm back down to 849. My watch hours <laughs> was 39.02, and I woke, but I woke up this morning and when I checked, they were down to 38.86. So I don't know what's going on with the YouTube monetiz monetiz monetization. There we go. <laughs> I can't hardly talk this morning, but we'll get through it. I don't know what's going on with it, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it until I don't know when. Probably when I get to a thousand. This one right here is my 52 week savings challenge that I'm doing. I did go ahead and start it. Uh, the low amounts are going fast. And what I do is I take the money that I have out of my wallet. I do have money in my wallet. I take money out of my wallet each day and I put it into different challenges. I figured if that money is put up, not in my wallet, I know I can't spend it. So it's being saved instead of spent. So the, uh, the next one I wanted to show you was my 100 and 12 day challenge. I am up to day four. Well, actually, I'm up to day five. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing this one. So, what I'm doing is let me get my star notes out of the, out of the way and bring this over. Because I do have a couple of star notes I need to put up in my challenge. So, this one right here, what I do is like with the family names challenge it numbers are in the box and as of course you can see the first three days i've done it i was pulling out eight and i thought now i know this box does not have all eights in it so it's random numbers and i'll shake it up and then i'll squish it around and i'll pull out a number please be a low number today Oh my gosh, it's an 8. I can already tell. <laughs> I think somebody went in and put all 8s in it. But it's okay. We'll save $8 today. And then I colored the little cloud in. And this is just a fun little way to save money daily. So, you know, if it's not in your wallet, you're not going to spend it. It will be saved. So there's five, six, seven, eight. And if you hear the cats in the background, I'm sorry. Miss Lunatic down there is into everything. She's a kitten. She's she's a beautiful little black and black with a little bit of white under her chin. So I'll put this one in here. I do have envelopes coming in the mail. So now we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. 38 in this little challenge. And then the next one is, let me see here. So that is how this one is done how I'm doing this one and I'll just go in here and write in an 8 
So the next thing, um, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just, and I do have a tracker on the back. So today is 12, 12, another 8. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I know there's other numbers in there, but 8. But it's okay. It's saving money. The next one is this one. This one, it probably started in 2023. This is uh, from the Happy Mailbox Company. Uh, Lisa Grateful Me, as her uh, YouTube channel. Her and her daughter-in-law makes these beautiful challenges. And I've always supported Lisa because Lisa's always supported me. And I love her shop. She's just got so many cute uh, challenges. Now this one right here, I did, I was explaining, for time management, I do love my Tuesday coin challenge days. My life's a little chaotic right now, so I've just, I stopped the Tuesday coin challenge. Uh, it's going to be once a month challenge to go through and color in. So I did put in, I did skip, I jumped down what change I had. I had $2.27 and I just colored it in and January will start a new way of doing this challenge. It'll be done monthly. And of course you can see as of 12-9 I had $139.22 in there. My star note challenge. I did come across two star notes. My mouth's a little dry, guys. Uh, let me get a sip of coffee here. Sorry about that. I'm not really happy about this one because I don't like the number on it. But I'm, I'm trying to see the number. I'm just, look, I'm not real happy about the last three digits. But it is a star note. So it's going in the savings challenge. It's money. And the whole thing that oh, come to mind when I, I seen this was, you know, the old saying, you know, money is the root of all evil. I don't think it's the money. It's the person that has the money. So when I seen the number, I thought about that. And I thought, Sorry about that, guys. My husband came in and gave me an update on my father-in-law. Um, I know for the new ones here, my father-in-law had open-heart surgery a few months back, and he done really great for me, but he's in the hospital now with pneumonia, so hopefully he'll get to come home soon. He's been in there for almost like a week now. So they done tests and everything to make sure that he didn't have any blood clots or anything. He's just got pneumonia really bad. So getting back to this crazy, well, it's not that one. It's this one. This crazy bill that's driving me nuts. Do I want to put it in or do I want to get rid of it? <sighs> Bills are evil. So you know what? This savings challenge that I'm doing is going to pay uh, on a debt. So... Dead is evil. This dollar bill is evil. So we're going to get to it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and color in the two ones. And I don't usually talk as I'm coloring because I can't do two things at one time. But I'm going to try to. So in my realistic life here, I do have a little bit of happy mail coming in the mail today. Uh, I told everybody I was wanting to try to start sinking funds in January. And uh, it's supposed to be here in the mail today. So I will be getting that set up. I'm doing a, doing a happy mail opening and all that video. And let's see. Let's do this one down here. So I came up with a little fun way to put money into my sinking funds. Most of these challenges and stuff, I do have them designated for what I, when if I finish them, uh, what I would like for them to go to. 
but also why not take a little bit of the money out of the savings challenge and throw it over into the sinking funds that's what I did when I first started my journey and then life happens and if you don't know my whole journey if it's your new video go back and watch some of the videos and it will explain to you what happened uh, but yeah life happens guys don't you know don't I mean you do stress but it life does change you know it's like the seasons we're just it I was just in a season that I couldn't do anything so we now in the store note challenge we have 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 and 26 so the sinking funds challenge that I came up with um, I'm gonna bring it out right quick everybody knows Lisa has got me hooked on roll the dice she come up with the cutest little roll the dice challenge well this one right here is a challenge that I put that I made last night I was trying to figure out some way to incorporate a challenge with my sinking funds so what I did I came up with the six sinking funds that I want to focus on which is the emergency the medical my pets insurance taxes and subscriptions so how we're going to do this one and I'm not I'm just going to do this for an example if I can find my dice okay wait a minute I have, there it is I'm just going to do two dice okay the first dice well three dice the first dice you roll that popped up as a two and it's sinking fun two so then I take the other two dice and roll and I got double sixes so it's 12 so with this one medical would get $12 and then six is subscription and it would get seven so this is a fun little way that I'm going to do my sinking funds because you know saving money is a challenge to some of us so if you make a game and you you make it fun to save money it seems like in my head it, it works better so that's this challenge that I came up with this one is not up on my Etsy shop I wasn't for sure if anybody would want to do this you can use as many dice as you want to I'm just going to use two for the amount and then the one for what it's going to be uh, but like I said it's not on my Etsy shop if you would like it uh, let me know so that's it with that one let's see what else I want I was trying to talk to you guys about about what I was doing just to make fun oh my roll the dice challenge this is another funny another funny one yeah another fun one that with I use with the dice and today I'm just gonna roll this and today we're gonna save nine that is great that's the highest number I got so I'm gonna write down the nine five six seven eight and nine so now the roll the dice has got so now we have got 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 43 44 45 46 47 47 almost 50 and you know saving a little bit here and a little bit there makes it makes it worthwhile guys this one right here is my little mini savings challenge um, I think 
I think I'm going to stop. I don't think I'm going to do this one right now. Because something may come up and I, I might need this in my wallet. Uh, and I think that's it for today. But my sinking funds is going to be one that I'm really going to focus on and paying off debt. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. Let me flip back through here. I'm sorry. I know this video is all over the place. My husband kindly got me a little a little messed up when he come in. I put down here what I wanted each one of these challenges to go to. This one right here, uh, when I complete it, this money, I want it to go to towards a, a credit card to pay off. And then this one, I want it to go to my house payment because my mortgage has the highest amount. To me, I know like $70 is little, $509 is big, so do I want to pay my mortgage off first and have that extra $500 to pay on the smaller bills? Or do I want to pay the smaller bills and throw that money towards the mortgage plus another big mortgage payment? I don't know. I'm trying to do baby steps and the debt snowball and I'm just not for sure how this journey is going to go. So my realistic life, just hang around guys because you might see how it's going to go. <laughs> And I want to thank all the new subscribers that joined my challenge. My challenge. My challenge. Gosh, I'm money. I don't edit, guys. So what you see is what you get. It's realistic. Uh, to my channel, to the new subscribers, thank you so much for for stopping by and and joining my journey and watching me uh, grow. This one right here, when it's finished, it's going to go a payment towards the credit card. Hopefully, there'll be enough in there to make a big dent in the debt. The family names is going to go towards a payment towards the car payoff. This one's a fun one, too. I've not done it in a while because it does have really high numbers in it. And, of course, as you can see, the first two I've done uh, have been high numbers. But this is how this one's going to do. This one's family names also. You shake up the numbers. You reach down, you pull. If it's a small one, I'll do it. If it's a big one, I'll throw it back in. Oh, look. It's a one. It's a one. I'll do it today. It's a one. I figured I'd pull out a 20 and I'd be like, oh God, I'm going to have to put an IOU in there. But that's great. There's a dollar towards that one. The family names, if you all are new here and this is your first video, what I did was I put my name, my husband's name, my oldest son's name, my middle son's name, my youngest son's name, and our last name down. And then I correlated it with the um, alphabet. This one's an A. So, $1.00 gets an A. So we are going to jump up here and we're going to color this one in. You know, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on and so on. And this is how I came up with this challenge. I think it's a fun way. My next challenge that I'm going to do uh, when I finish this one is going to be my grandbaby's names. So that one's going to be a big challenge to do but I want to uh, I just want to find a fun way to save money you know and I want to tell you my depression wants me to uh, spend I don't know when I get really depressed I want to spend money and uh, that's that's bad that's the reason why most of my credit cards are as high as they are so, yeah, this one is going to go towards a payment to the debt payoff. And I'm so sorry I'm rambling through this. But I wanted to show you what I designated each one of my challenges to go through. Luna's challenge is for my pets. Sorry, I took a coughing spell. I don't know what 
but for the last oh I've been dealing with this for the last three weeks I don't know what it is at first I thought it was allergies but then it just seems like it keeps getting worse and worse and worse and and then I had the emergency fund which you know the thousand dollar emergency fund I've not sunk anything into that yet what I usually do with this one is the smaller challenges I finish I throw money in here every so often if I got extra ten dollars I'll throw it in here but mainly when I finish a challenge I take some of that money and put it over here um, oh my god my cats are tearing everything apart this one is one that um, Lisa grateful me had up on her shop for a freebie it is so cute um, I'm going to use this one for holiday money, food, gifts, or something else. You know, it's just, I, I'm trying to find fun ways to save. And then, this one is mine. This one is in on my Etsy shop. This one's going to be starting January. This is the save 365 days, or $365. And January has 31 days, so you'll save $31. I'm so tongue-tied, and these cats have got me nuts. This one right here is Grandma's Rainy Day Fund. If you know anything about Dave Ramsey, he always says, what, ha what did Grandma always say? Save money for a rainy day. So, I put the cookie jars down because the story that Dave said was Grandma's always put money in the cookie jar. So, this is Grandma's Rainy Day Fund. This one... I'll probably start it with correlation with the the uh, 112 day challenge. It won't be done every day, but um, when I pick a number for it, like if it like today, it was an eight. So if I wanted to do this one today, the eight that I pulled. 8 would go into the rainy day fund which is another challenge for emergency fund so I'm trying to get beefed up and ready to go with that and I think that's it oh here's the happy new year challenge this one will be going up this one is on the Etsy shop I will be starting this one probably in January uh, just some fun little save $75 towards the emergency fund or towards my grandkids I do have a grandkids savings or a grandkids uh, binder and uh, I randomly put money in here for them right now they're all up to $58 and uh, this will go to them at Christmas time whatever I save goes to them for Christmas so, guys, thank you for hanging around with me. And I'm going to zoom out so you'll probably see a bunch of mess everywhere. But I wanted to show you uh, a bag that I got off Amazon. When I first done the video where I said it in my, my driving vlog, I, I think I messed up and said Etsy. It's not on Etsy. It's on Amazon. So... Um, if you're all looking for a cute little planner bag, this is the one that I got. It keeps everything together, and I will get it all packed up the way that it needs to go and show you. Because I like to have, I'm trying to get better organized, guys. And sometimes my life is so chaotic that things just don't go the way that I want them to go. But you know life does happen so this is the little little planner bag that I got and let me see if I can zoom out a little bit and bring it in to you guys so here's the bag and of course let me see that's as far as I can get that to go no there we go see it's got my savings challenge my planner for 2023 a sticker book from Happy Planner, my notebook that I use, uh, more stickers, 
my five minute a day planner that I got from Zoe over at Five Minute Planner Company. Uh, I'm no, I'm not affiliated with this company. She just wanted to reach out and let me uh, try it, see how I like it. I really do like it. Get it up in the morning and you get up in the morning, you just flip it open, which I've not done it today. Uh, this is December. Uh, just a small little schedule. What are you going to do today? What's your goals? What's your top priorities? You get up in the morning, five minutes, you write in it, you do what you want to do. And it, it's a neat little planner and I have been using it uh, for tracking things, Etsy videos, things that I need to do, clean the bathroom, YouTube video and stuff like that. But yeah, this is the cutest little planner ever. It is on Amazon. I don't have a, a link. I'm not affiliated. I don't get anything for sponsoring this. But it is a cute little five minute planner if you want one. And then, you know, I got my envelopes back here so hopefully I'm trying to get situated and then in the front you've got pouches for your highlighters ink pens on the side I've got more ink pens my hole punch uh, just different little random things but it's it's a cute little bag it's all together it's over here to my side so when I sit down, I just reach over, pull it out, and there it is. So guys, I want to thank you all so much for being here, um, watching my video, subscribing. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I really have a goal of getting to my thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but I doubt if that's going to happen if YouTube keeps taking them away from me. But anyway... I hope you all have a great, wonderful day, and with that said, guys, um, remember to always keep smiling. Bye, guys.